Okay, great news. Amazing news. I have finally mastered overclocking uh, the new way. Okay, back in the day, you would turn off turbo boost, override it, set your own ratio, uh, and just keep on stress testing until you, you found the sweet spot. Okay? Um, in my case, with the latest CPUs I've owned, it's always been about 4.7. I've tried for a 5, but it always got too hot and in, unstable, so I always dropped it down a bit and then ended up resting at 4.7. And I thought I was going to have to do that with this uh, i5, however, it's not the case. And with the newer motherboards and processors, uh, we, we've come a long way. Um, overclocking is amazing now uh, it, it's basically you have temperature uh, it's basically temperature control now I thought these boosts would be adding a boost to my existing overclock uh, you know say like I put 4.8 gigahertz uh, manual override now I thought if you enabled these it would try and boost on top of that and you really don't want that to happen that was the case in the past okay you'd have it conflicting with your overclock and then it's like worst worst nightmare you know <coughs> however what intel thermal velocity boost does now th this is a new addition okay what you can do is basically a temperature controller on all of the CPU cores. So you basically tell it, okay, go for the 5.1 gigahertz that you claim it, it will do. Okay, this is a 13,600K, uh, 13th gen Intel CPU, and they claim it, it will do 5.1 gigahertz uh, but it's dependent, okay, depending on what you do, basically. With this TVB, you can say, okay, do this, but if the temperatures go above 81 degrees C, let's say, then I want you to drop that ratio by 5 in this case thermal velocity boost offset one uh, and then you can also add another one say like it's still getting hot despite you telling it to drop the OC uh, it, it's still not doing it it's still rising in temperature so then you say okay once you get to 82 degrees C or, or whatever you specify drop it even more now, if, if, if it gets to 82 on any of these cores, then that means we're getting close to about 90, okay, max. At the moment, I've set it at 81, okay, drop 5, drop the overclock by 5, 500 megahertz size. Now, that means when it goes above 81, uh, that is talking about the package temperature. But, I'm also concerned about max temperature, okay? I don't ever want it to exceed about 86 okay I don't want it going to 90 degrees uh, even at max temperature even though it okay it just peaks to this occasionally but then drops suddenly I don't even want it peaking uh, so I found the best temperature okay package temperature 
to specify here was 81 uh, and that way the max temperature never exceeds 86 uh, which is fine I'm okay with that I'm okay with it peaking to 86 but no higher no higher uh, and the good news is uh, the temperature that it's maintaining okay uh, once it gets up, up to this is 80 degrees uh, sorry 81 81 um, so yeah what it does uh, it will drop the overclock at the moment that you can see it's dropped it a little bit here okay it's trying for a 5.1 but if it goes that high it will drop it yeah it dropped down to, to 5 then uh, and look the package temperature at the moment it's below it's below 80 that's great as soon as that goes over 81 okay I'll just try and find some examples maybe here yes it went up to 82 there 83 so at 83 it dropped the frequency on the core on the cores okay the ratio it dropped the overclock now you can see these little yeah these little dips yeah but what's amazing about uh, Intel's turbo boost thing and this thermal velocity boost is it only dips it a tiny bit you know it's not for long and then it normalizes again because the temperatures have come down uh, it then puts it back to 5.1 <laughs> until you get a spike again and it will drop again but look at how it's not really affecting the overclock it will drop for you know uh, a split second or so yeah and then normalize again uh, and my temperatures aren't exceeding uh, 81 uh, and, and max isn't exceeding 86 amazing amazing this is the future of over overclocking guys and I love it I absolutely love it back in the day oh my word you'd have to install some program that would sound off an alarm yeah and have it running in the background all the time uh, and then when you put your games on uh, if you heard the alarm you'd be like oh crap I've got to exit the game shut down the computer you know this kind of thing well now you don't even have to worry because this is running in the background uh, and you know it's not going to exceed um, uh, dangerous temperatures amazing amazing so that's it that is my overclock uh, I finally mastered it uh, before I found out before I learned about thermal velocity boost uh, I was going up to 90 plus it even hit 96 max one time and I was like I've got to do something here um, the the overclock I want I can't have and that's because I'd set it uh, to about about this okay I, I had to drop big time uh, but I didn't have this enabled okay so it was constantly trying to keep you know this this overclock like you used to do back in the day uh, but yeah you don't back in the day I would have said override any turbo that you've got in your overclock uh, in your bio, in your BIOS just just set your, your manual overclock that's what I would have said now I'm saying the opposite I'm saying uh, if you're going to overclock 
you must have this enabled <laughs> because it will stop you overheating so I've, I've gone completely the other way uh, Intel uh, I've done a great job here of, of this you know when I first got this motherboard and processor the first thing I did was oh turn that off turn that off no <laughs> uh, I've learnt my lesson I've learnt now uh, you want this on because it's a safeguard and now I'm able to get most of the time 5.1 where I was, whereas I was struggling to maintain 4.8 before before using this <laughs> yeah um, uh, the other beauty of it is oh, you won't believe this okay it will try it will maintain 5.1 yeah but uh, if it thinks I could go higher it does that automatically look I'll show you the maximum it's gone up to 5.75 yeah stable uh, just for a split second or so it, it goes up when it when it knows it's it's safe to do so it, it will automatically boost like that uh, ju just for a little you know a split second or so uh, and then it will go back down to 5.1 you know what what you've set the the ratio at uh, so yeah it will, it will boost it further if it if it knows it can uh, and it won't let you exceed um, unsafe temperatures Amazing. Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Uh, this this new version with that, which is new. Uh, yeah, they, they've they finally got it. They finally got it right. Uh, I'm so impressed. Excellent.